So last week, uh, House Democrats decided again that they wouldn't have a vote to officially begin an impeachment effort. So what do we have as a result of that? We have a process that's going on in secret. We have selective leaking without much material coming out, but just a little of it coming out. There are no neutral observers allowed to be part of this. It's held usually now in the Intel Committee uh, secure setting, even though there's no indication that any of the information being discussed is classified. Um, no public debate on a vote. No rules are set out. President's lawyers aren't allowed uh, to uh, see the evidence or challenge evidence. Ranking members don't have the ability to have subpoena power. Now, what's similar? What's what's common about all of those those things? In the past two impeachment efforts, all of those things have been exactly the opposite. Uh, in the early Federalist Papers, looking at impeachment, they understood that impeachment was a very vaguely defined thing in the Constitution. And because of that, they said that impeachment has to be public. It can't be entrusted to just a few people. You can't have people in this setting behind closed doors pursuing what is clearly an unfair way uh, to pursue something that is a constitutional privilege but the other privileges of responding and knowing are also there, and those are not being allowed.